April 2008 No human being is fundamentally evil, because he or she is not genetically programmed by nature for Gewalt and manipulation. The abysses of evil, Gewalt, revenge and retribution, dishonesty and hatred as well as jealousy and falseness as well as everything else that is degenerated and unworthy of human beings only develop during the course of life. And when these abysses of evil open, it is not rarely the case that they open so wide that a human being who has lapsed into evil can no longer find his or her way back to goodness. No human being is evil, Gewalt acting or degenerative in one or another way in his or her natural state, because no human being is fundamentally and genetically coded for Gewalt. The truth is that the evil in human beings is learned by them during life, something which can happen even from any early stage of childhood or only later with advancing years. Indeed, there is no age limit placed on learning Gewalt acts, evil and every possible type of a degeneracy, which means that even a human being who has lived a good, peaceful and a Gewalt less without Gewalt, life can suddenly lapse into acts of Gewalt in old age if he or she falls into the appropriate circumstances of living by means of which he or she leads himself or herself to Gewalt. Genetic programming only imposes on human beings reaction patterns and protection mechanisms, which are archaic or prehistoric reaction functions of fight flight or freezing. These are therefore reaction patterns that are possessed by many animals and other creatures birds, fishes, reptiles, etc., and are controlled by the brain in human beings. This is the oldest part of the brain, the brain stem. The brain stem responds to any conceivable and acute threat towards the conscious of the consciousness in a fully unconscious way. Therefore the consciousness cannot control the entire scenario of the threat response. The unconscious reaction process to the acute threat therefore prevents the control function of the conscious of the consciousness with the result that the consciousness only becomes aware of the whole procedure due to the unconscious perception and resulting feelings. Therefore, when faced by an acute threat, a danger, etc., the brain stem responds with an unconscious perception and therefore also with unconscious thoughts which take place without the conscious of the consciousness being involved. This unconscious perception and the resulting feelings lead to a lightning reaction which results in a fight, flight or freezing response, and only then penetrates the consciousness in a conscious way. The whole thing is an unconsciously controlled protective reaction but one which has nothing to do with any destructive aggression and only penetrates the conscious of the consciousness as a conscious factor after the unconscious lightning response has taken place. However, if unfavorable conditions and circumstances are given during this procedure, this can lead to an outburst, namely destructive aggression, because control over negative impulses is not part of our genetic programming either. Rather it is something that has to be learned through healthy activity of the consciousness, and thereby through a sound world of thought, feeling and behavior. Analyzing human behavior leads to the recognition that everything in human life depends on the human being's complex scoping strategies, namely satisfying his or her requirements, solving his or her conflicts and problems rectifying his or her mistakes and also gaining recognition from his or her fellow human beings. Looking for these capabilities in the human being, it is possible to find them in the cerebral cortex which gives rise to ever more complex and improved coping strategies which allow the human being to live rightfully according to creational laws and recommendations insofar as he or she grows up and leads his or her life in this climate of fulfillment. However, if the human being grows up in a climate where fear, gewalt, oppression, violence, jealousy, torture, dishonesty, hatred, revenge, retribution or other evil and degenerative practices are the norm, the result will be that the defensive programs stored in the depth of the brain since ancient times, namely fight, flight and freezing, will be reinforced resulting in Gewalt reactions. Faced with evil, 
Cavalto degeneracy, it is very quick for the only possible and successful coping strategy to be seen as returning the same evilly, the same gavalt, and the same degeneracies as the only means of self-assertion, and therefore as the only opportunity to assert oneself in relation to oneself or towards other people or a situation, and wielding my oneself. This behavior very quickly becomes a habit something which generally takes place in the early years of childhood and can no longer be dropped. As a result, human beings carry with them their learn evil, give out, hatred, revenge and retribution as well as all kinds of degeneracy throughout their entire lives, and it is therefore inevitable that this will lead to intermittent or continuous acts of give out. The entire behavior also contains within it is a stained and hidden unconscious fear of suffering disadvantages and harm, and this feeds a sustained and burrowing, destructive aggressiveness which further increases the level of fear and, in turn, ratchets up the learned readiness to use give out to an even higher level. In the end, the whole thing leads to murder and manslaughter, war and destruction, as has been the case since time immemorial. If a human being grows up in a climate of fear, brutality, give out, and degeneracy, or if the human being lives under such conditions on having reached adulthood, it is inevitable that he or she will take on these evil and negative forms by learning them and thereby once again open the door to the archaic or prehistoric defensive programs of fight, flight and freezing, something which inevitably leads to give out acts. This is because there is no control over impulses in the conscious of the consciousness, because this was never learned or has simply been thrown overboard and therefore a completely different behavior pattern appears that cries out for destructive aggression, give out, revenge, retribution, jealousy, torture, the death penalty, hatred, war, destruction, dishonesty and all other evil things. All the nerve groups cry out aggressively for attack, although other responses such as flight and freezing as well as deceit, infamy, indignity, contempt for human beings and cowardice may be tied up in this and come to the fore when attacked. This means everything is connected, and this interconnectivity is rendered particularly stable because the reward center is triggered by all these aggressions and degeneracies and the brain is flooded with a neurotransmitter dopamine. Consequently, the human being feels himself or herself affirmed, big and powerful in his or her aggression, give out and degeneracy and this is precisely what leads to the situation that he or she becomes addicted to his or her acts of give out and therefore always continues to strive for evil and unleashed disputes causing all-around death and destruction in order to satisfy his or her brain reward cascade by means of the neurotransmitter dopamine. In this way, the human being mutates towards evil, aggression, give out and all other degeneracies, as a result of which murder and manslaughter, conflict, jealousy, revenge, hatred, torture, retribution, wars, the death penalty and destruction become part and parcel of everyday life. Evil is rife not only within individual human beings when they have learned it, but also in groups and entire peoples. The reasoning of human beings is not determined by the question of good or evilly, nor by the question of right or wrong. It is rather the human beings learning of evil that them determines their life and way of life. As far as the individual human being is concerned, his or her way of life is determined by loyalty towards his or her own evil, in terms of groups or peoples it is the groups or peoples loyalty towards evil that enables human beings to allow themselves to be misused for the purposes of religious, political, philosophical or ideological delusion, for the death penalty and for wars. However, Human beings are not born with a blind loyalty, because they learn it from their environment. Fundamentally, human beings are born with a true conscience that strives to the goodness, 